welcome to our platoon getting started tutorial. My name is Oliver and this is what we will create. Nothing really spectacular, but a good example to showcase all the features, all the basic features of platoon so that you can start doing your own artwork. So yeah, let's get started. First, uh, I will import this Illustrator vector graphic and in general it will look like this. This is our Illustrator file and as you see we will do all these texturizing, all these little details, very easy in After Effects with Platoon. So uh, let me import this Illustrator graphic. I double click on the project. I will import the vacation test and I will import that as a composition. And uh, this is what we got. I already prepared this uh, file and split the layers in different layers to do this texturizing and the animation of course. So, But for example, um, let's go to the trees green B and uh, let me hide that. As you see, this is the right side of the trees and let me put a texture onto that. I simply take the platoon plugin and drag that onto the trees green B and that will apply a checker pattern to my artwork and uh, it always starts with a checker pattern and you have access here on this little thumbnail to your library and you can simply apply let's say this graphic to your artwork. You can scale that down and even rotate that for example let's say 45 degrees and you have a texture on your text uh, on your artwork and the same is let's let's go to the grass here which is grass B hide that. See, this is grass B. I simply drag the platoon onto my grass B layer and it applies a checker pattern. I click the thumbnail here, browse to my grungy stripes and I will choose this one and scale it a little bit down like so. And this is how easy you can apply textures to layers in After Effects with platoon. So, because it's a getting started one, um, let me explain. If you first time install Platoon and if you first time launch Platoon and you click this little thumbnail, it will open up the main settings tab. And we explain all these settings in our in-depth tutorial on our website. So please make sure to watch that on our website. It's platoon.illumi.de and here you find the in-depth introduction and you find a bunch of tutorials what else is possible with Platoon. Some very cool transition effects for example or texture mixing or uh, have a look at the transition preset that ships with Platoon. Uh, how to create visual elements like this visual HUD uh, in After Effects with Platoon or even a freeze effect preset which also comes with Platoon and many many more things. So make sure to check out our website and watch the in-depth in introduction and uh, all the other tutorials uh, to get an idea what you can do with Platoon. So um, let me go to these two things. I think they are very important and good to know because uh, they are very special for After Effects and Motion Design. So you find that little checkbox here and it says show patterns from Adobe Cloud Libraries. What does that mean? So in general, if you uh, are on a Adobe CC Cloud version, then you have access to this app on your mobile device, which is Adobe's Capture app. And as you see, you can do very cool patterns with this app. You can go to the App Store, to the Google Play Store and download this app for free if you are on Adobe Cloud. And as you see, you can do very cool patterns and uh, in general, you can use them in Illustrator and Photoshop. And let me close that for now. And if you are in, uh, in After Effects and let's switch to the libraries uh, layout, uh, you will see your libraries on the right side. Let me cancel that and you will see here are all my, my patterns I did on my mobile device and they are grayed out so there is no chance to apply them or to work with them in After Effects, only in Photoshop and uh, Illustrator. We changed that with Platoon. 
So let's go to our grass B. Let me zoom in and go to my effects and presets. I go back to default. And uh, if you click the thumbnail, you will see in your library, which is this drop down menu, you will see here the cloud section. And this is the cloud platoon section I did on my mobile device. And you see here are all my patterns from my mobile device. And I simply can click on them and apply them. For example, if you want to have this grass texture, on the grass and I will scale it down to maybe two. You will see I have access to these patterns directly in After Effects. And this is a very cool feature because you don't even have to synchronize them. They're automatically installed and imported into um, Patoon if you have this uh, little checkbox here checked. So anything you do on your mobile device with the Capture app uh, regarding patterns will be automatically updated to your library inside of Patoon. And I think this is very handy, so you can do stunning patterns outside and then work with them in your motion design. Important to know, uh, let me go to the next uh, checkbox. This is automatically import Photoshop patterns in any folder. What is this for? Um, as, you saw, as you saw, I took this uh, PS Patterns Grungy Stripes and I used this texture. And this texture is a Photoshop pattern. It's a PAT file. And if you browse the internet for free Photoshop patterns, and for example, one of our first hits is uh, Brush Easy. And if you click on that, you will find a lot of free, uh, free uh, patterns for Photoshop, uh, including these grungy stripes, for example. And uh, you can download them and you can use them in Photoshop because this is a PAT a pattern file and we implemented that into After Effects so now you have the option to import your PAT files directly in After Effects and work with them. So anything which is a pattern you will see as PS patterns and then you have all these uh, patterns inside your library and uh, for example this uh, nature patterns you know from Photoshop uh, are from the Photoshop, Photoshop standard installation. I simply imported that into After Effects and I can use these patterns in After Effects for my motion design. Very, very handy. And so you get a lot of bitmaps, a lot of tileable textures to use in your motion design, not only in Photoshop or Illustrator. So the next is this library can be customized. So you can customize your library to your needs. That means if you, for example, click on the show folder in the US, and we will explain all of these, of course, in the in-depth tutorial, but this is the main, uh, the main button to, uh, to customize your library. It will browse you to your local device to program data on Windows, and then you have a folder called Platoon. And inside of this folder, there is the folder structure. Here is the library structure. So, for example, as I told you in the PS patterns, here are all your patterns files the grungy stripes, PAT files, and all of that. And you simply can drag and drop more patterns to this folder and they will show up inside your library. The same is, here are the grounds textures. All of these textures uh, already ships with Patoon. So this is your basic installation. And you can copy paste more uh, of your own graphics to this folder to um, customize your library. And of course you can do simply right click, make a new folder, and name that whatever you want and uh, import maps to this folder and they will show up in your folder structure in your library. Okay, let me delete that. Or even drag and drop some folders into this uh, Platoon folder. So anything which is in this Platoon folder will show up inside your library directly in After Effects and that will be stored here. So each time you use Platoon, you don't have to import or search for, uh, uh, for your graphics. They are still here. You can use them immediately. Simply click on whatever you like to. Grunge, for example. Click on this icon and apply this texture to your layer. It's easy as that. So, back to our tutorial. Let me go to the vacation test already. So this is where we texturized all of these. So for example, uh, the car, which is this, uh, we simply put on the car borders a, I don't 
on the car borders sorry on the car we simply put a platoon on that with this red pattern here with this grungy strap pattern for example let's change it to this brown you see what happens it texturizes this car in brown and let me go to the single setting so you have an option to lock pattern i go back to my red one to showcase that and as you see as the car moves Here we go. You see the texture stays in the background. You see the car moves, but it moves over the texture. And this is because lock pattern is not checked. If you check this lock pattern, it will do two things. First, it will resize the bitmap to the comp size, but it also will lock that to the layer. So that means if I now scrub through, you will see the texture stays locked on this layer. For example, we have one platoon instance with this reddish lines here. Let me scale it a little bit to get more details. Something like this looks cool to me. Yeah, here we go. Uh, for example, if you want to add some more details to that, you can simply, because we have the lock pattern selected, um, to keep all the settings here, you can simply duplicate this platoon layer, string D on a keyboard or edit copy or edit duplicate and simply choose another um, pattern. For example, let's go to our grungy things and let's try this one. And you will see it applies this grungy texture to, uh, this, uh, to this car, but uh, let's scale it even more, something like this. and change the blend mode from normal to let's say darken and you will see it gives this uh, nice uh, details to the car so that it looks a little bit crushed or, or, or dirty or whatever and let's try another uh, map let's say for example this one which looks a little bit more dirty and uh, I will scale it even more like so and let me bring the opacity a little bit down to have only a little bit more detail. So this is how easy you can mix your textures and because of the lock pattern uh, thing, it will also stays on this texture if you move your, if your car moves. And this gives you a lot of uh, creative um, options to mix your textures um, together in After Effects. And uh, yeah, I think so. These are the basic, the basic settings of Platoon. So the major thing is importing um, bitmaps or applying bitmaps with Platoon to your artwork. Uh, handle them directly in After Effects. Build up your own library. Have access to your cloud library files direct in After Effects or cloud patterns direct in After Effects have access to Photoshop PAT files directly in After Effects, mix textures, and one cool thing is uh, you have the option or the, the possibility to use compositions as container, as, um, as graphics. For example, let me go, I pre-composed all of these. So this is a pre-compose of my uh, Illustrator vector. Uh, let's say I will have a new solid and I make that black and OK and I apply platoon to this new solid and you will have here the option to switch your source between file which is the checker pattern or even a graphic and uh, to layer and in this case it opens up this pattern layer and let's choose the vacation test and if you're working on effects, you have the option also to not even use the source, but if masks and effects and masks. And now if you start scaling, you will see this is your composition as texture to your layer. And uh, the animation, of course, stays in the background. Okay, so there are many possibilities you can uh, rotate that you can do whatever you like with that so you can use a composition or a layer as a texture in platoon and uh, you can apply that for example also to a text layer which is 
I think quite funny. Let's try that. Let me hide that. Let me hide that too. And bring in a new text layer. I call that platoon. I will give it a bit more depth, so make it bold. I will scale it up. And let me apply platoon to that text layer. Here we go. And let's go from file to layer and choose the vacation test. And here we are. This is our text layer as texture to our platoon text layer with all the animation in the background and all the freedom to manipulate that, scale it down, rotate, offset, whatever you like to, even you can tint that. So, and the animation stays as you know in the background. So I think with this option, you have a lot of creative possibilities in your workflow to use your own bitmaps library or even compositions and layers as textures for other layers, uh, which is a very cool feature. And uh, let me showcase you one more thing. I go back to the black solid because we have uh, more than one tile option. So in general, the tile mode is set to tile. You have the option to use single which only gives you a single image and you can play with the offset, of course. Um, and we use this single option for some virtual uh, HUD elements. So we have a tutorial on our website, as I uh, told you before. And uh, the third option is the mirrored. So this is the tile option. And if you choose that to mirrored, it will do nothing very spectacular in this case because you simply see it makes this from top to bottom but if you choose a file for example as i did before this is the this is the result with mirrored and this is the uh, this is the uh, result with tiled so for example let's choose a this pattern you will see this is the option if you have tiled and it looks very weird. Let me scale it up a little bit. And sometimes you have textures they are not perfectly tileable and it gives you this result if you need them smaller. And if you change the tile mode now to mirrored, it's not perfect but it's much more better than the tiled version. So you have different tile modes and uh, you can play with all these settings uh, inside uh, platoon and uh, yeah so we are about 20 minutes i think for a getting started tutorial that should be make it you should be having a good idea what to do with platoon how to use it and how creative you can be make sure to check out all the tutorials and watch all the details i think this platoon plugin is a very powerful plugin and it's very handy and a huge time saver in your daily workflow. So please let us know what you do with Platoon and uh, if you post something on maybe Instagram or Facebook, use the hashtag Platoon, for example, and let us show your work. This is, for example, the freeze effect we did. Use the hashtag Platoon on your social uh, networks to showcase your work. We'll be fine to hear from you. Hope you like Platoon. Hope you enjoy working with it. See you in the next tutorial. My name is Oliver. 